Hey guys, Mark here with an update on the uh, Mulgabet uh, Pyramid Hybrid. This will be part three of the build along. Uh, last time I left you, I pretty much had the overall shape roughed out with the exception of the sight window, arrow rest, and uh, I had cut out uh, the the uh, riser block ready to glue on and I just had some blocks for tip overlays ready to glue on so what I did was I glued up the the uh, tip overlay blocks and I glued up the riser block and uh, let them sit for for a good while and then uh, since then I've sanded off the glue and I've also taken a crafter saw and basically with a series of relief cuts uh, managed to cut out the sight window and arrow rest. I rasped it down a little bit and, and used a little bit of sandpaper to make it somewhat smooth as well with the sides of the riser block was, uh, in preparation for the next step. Uh, with the horn knocks I did more or less the same thing. I uh, glued them on and then using a, um, a crafter saw I made relief cuts on both sides and then uh, carved that stuff away and used just the uh, orbital sander to kind of rough out the shape. It's not done by a long stretch, but it's a it's a start, and it'll allow me to have a very good idea what the bow looks like, um, or what it will look like when when it's complete. Uh, the overall shape. Uh, this one's pretty good and needs to be evened out a little bit with and that'll that'll be done with sanding and this and the same on the other side you'll see a little bit of unevenness and that that tends to happen when the wood isn't perfectly level and it's hard to tell until you get down to this point when you're sanding it, it can be nice and smooth but you get this uneven look and uh, when it all comes out in the wash I might add a little bit of character to it so I'm not going too too worried about that so the next step for this bow here is to reduce the working limbs and if you remember from before the working limbs are everything that extends be between the fade here and the fade here and essentially along the the bow's thickness I've marked out the fades starting at where the top of the riser block is down a quarter of an inch for the two inches of the, the fade and I'm going to reduce the working limb evenly along its length a quarter inch and then when I reach the other fade it's back up into full thickness for the static limbs so I'm reducing from three quarters of an inch down to a half inch total width and I'll do that essentially by going over it with an orbital sander over and over and over again until I'm right down to the line and then I'll start the tilling process I anticipate that it will still be too tough or correction too stiff when I reach the uh, half inch mark but uh, it's a good start and um, I'll reduce gradually tillering along the way after that to reach my target weight of about 55 pounds. So I've marked out the other side the same way right from the bottom of the riser. Uh, we've got our angle drawn here from full thickness down to half an inch and that accounts for the fade there. And then half an inch thickness all the way along to the start of the other fade up here back to full thickness. Once that's done uh, I'll put in some uh, interim knock points here roughly about a 45 degree angle and um, in order to get the tailoring string on I might also have to sh uh, shape the horn knocks a little bit and these will, will gradually be pointy and, and uh, look pretty slick. Um, and once I get the tailoring string on there uh, the horn ox will start to take shape. So I'm going to make this belly reduction and uh, we'll see how we make out with that. Once that's complete I'll make another update video to show how the bow is floor tillering. So stay tuned for updates on this and my other bow projects. Take care.